Welcome back. Keeping you up to date around the clock. Here's tonight's WIS 7 at 7. Today, the Richland County Sheriff's Department got their new community action team vehicles to the public. The deputies on the team are assigned to a community to help reduce crime, create homeowners associations, neighborhood crime watch groups, and get involved to build the trust of the members in their area. One Richland County man whose remains were found six months after being reported missing was laid to rest today. 27-year-old Morgan Duncan's remains were found about two weeks ago by a person walking in the woods off Springbank Drive. According to his family, Duncan was a vulnerable adult and diagnosed with schizophrenia. The South Carolina Department of Transportation has started construction on some of the projects intended to alleviate traffic congestion around the new Scout Motors plant. One of the most prominent additions, the Exit 26 interchange on I-77, will be located one mile south of the existing interchange at Blythewood Road. Construction is expected to start early next year. Today, the Department of Health and Environmental Control was split into two new state agencies. Those two new agencies will now oversee public health services across the Palmetto State. State leaders say that this change is critical to making South Carolina the healthiest state in the nation. The Supreme Court has ruled that presidents are not absolutely immune from criminal prosecution, which states that presidents are only immune from criminal prosecution for official acts while in office. However, they can be prosecuted for acts that are not part of their official duties. This means that former President Trump does have immunity for some of the alleged conduct in indictment. Hurricane Barrel made landfall in the Windward Islands today, packing 150 mile per hour winds. Officials say that the Category 4 hurricane is the strongest hurricane ever in the Atlantic this early in the season. There have been multiple reports of downed trees, flooded streets, power outages, and storm surge flooding. Stay with WIS for the very latest updates on Hurricane Barrel. And one Kentucky program is helping kids aging out of the foster care system hop into the driver's seat of life. The First Car Project is a nonprofit that relies almost solely on the time and donations of local mechanics to refurbish donated cars for the cause. This past weekend, two lucky teams were the recipients of these cars. And that's all for tonight's 7 at 7.